Hi there, my name is Kevin Shabazi and I'm the Circular Economy Innovation Lead at the Board of Innovation. And today we're going to explain what is Circular Economy Innovation Theater and how can you overcome it? So Circular Economy Innovation Theater is much like all the regular innovation theater that's out there. It's innovation that's not impactful. In this case, specifically, not impactful in a circular way. And if you're interested in what that means, check out our other video about circular impact. A lot of organizations fall into four common traps that lead to circular economy innovation theater, which we believe that you can overcome. The first pitfall of circular economy innovation is vanity metrics. And this is the deliberate choice of, of certain metrics that are maybe easy to achieve that don't reveal the full picture of circular economy impact. So for example, if you switch to 5% recycled materials while creating 10% more products overall, your net impact may still be very negative. Although from a vanity perspective, it may appear as progress. And this can, this can be corrected with a really critical look at what are all the different ways to make circular impact and uh, making sure you're looking across all of the different life cycle stages and gauging what your impact might be. The second um, pitfall that we see is this uh, mindset of incrementalism or less harmful. And the reason that that's not good enough is that the circular economy is a really huge untapped uh, opportunity that's been waiting to uh, that that's waiting to kind of be capitalized on and it involves a lot of new connections between stakeholders and new business models to fill in gaps in the market and those gaps don't get filled with an incremental mindset or a less harmful mindset um, and, and this can really stifle the the progress that's needed to make circular impact the third pitfall which we see is something we call single player innovation we know that circular economy value chains are involving a lot of different companies and are kind of com are really complicated. Uh, and, and that's why we really challenge organizations that innovate on their own deep inside their companies in an ivory tower. Uh, to make real impact, you need to be working with your suppliers, your customers, and the customers of your customers, the aftermarket, as well to make sure that value is being created at different stages in a value chain and not just in your own. Uh, so, so pay attention to that and see if you can break this pattern by, by reaching out to your suppliers and customers and by inviting them to co-create with you. And the last and, and maybe most dangerous pitfall of circular economy innovation is ignorance. And, and that is ignorance to KPIs and real data and information about how you're performing on circular impact. Many companies have real big gaps in this and maybe at most measure once a year for their annual report. And, and to that extent, maybe even, not even all of the, the life cycle. Um, and, and this can really create inertia and, uh, and, and stop commitments to big circular economy ambitions and also disable evidence-based decision-making uh, in innovation projects. So there you go. These are the four different pitfalls to circular economy innovation that can lead to innovation theater. And uh, now that you know, you have what you need to uh, start uh, at least being aware of the problem and uh, trying to overcome it. Check out our newsletter if you'd like to learn more about circular economy innovation and how you can uh, create this for your organization.